Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Seabass and today I'm gonna show you the brand new Zion Smooth 4. Zion has just released their brand new gimbal for smartphones and guess what? They just sent me one. So let's do a little unboxing first. As always we got a nice case to protect the gimbal. Then we got the Smooth 4 itself, a tripod and the USB-C cable to charge it. As you can see, the design of the Smooth 4 has completely changed compared to the Smooth 3. There are a lot of new buttons to control the app, which I'm gonna show you in a few minutes. A wheel to control focus and zoom. A switch button for switching the modes. And a two-way button on the back to switch between phone go and following mode. And believe me guys, this button makes the control of the Smooth 4 totally intuitive. And yes, there is no joystick anymore. With the stand-up pan following mode, your phone stays always horizontal when you move around. To tilt the camera up or down, you simply press the following mode button and move the camera in the direction you want to tilt. By releasing this button, it stays in this position until you press following mode button again and tilt back horizontal or another position. The phone go mode is developed for fast movements. It's like a quick lock to do fast movements without the super smoothness of a gimbal. This is the kind of thing I always missed at gimbals. And now it's finally there. I really hope they will develop a big gimbal for DSLRs or so with this kind of control. But back to the Smooth 4. Of course, it fits all kinds of smartphones. You can use it in horizontal and vertical mode. And there's finally a lock to hold the upper part together as soon as you turn it off. So it's not bouncing around anymore. Zion also developed a complete new Zion Play app with a lot of functions. So just connect your phone with Bluetooth to the Smooth 4 and let's go. This is the part where all the other buttons come in. Of course you have a start stop record button and a photo button, but also want to switch the wheel function between focus and zoom mode, want to switch the front and back camera, want to switch the camera resolution and frame rate, an exposure button, want to blend in and out camera settings and finally one menu button. There are also a lot of new functions in the menu like time lapse, panorama and the vertical effect. And of course I wanted to know what this gimbal and the app are able to create with my smartphone. So I visited Arthur, a friend of mine, this morning in his gym and we tested it for a while. If you still doubt it can't look like a professional production, see yourself. You getting stuck as he feed in the mud. You have been caught in the flood. <laughs> While the water isn't part of we run, we put you so the harvest is us. <laughs> you have been enjoying life, sipping the syrup and a line in the way. Taking whatever you touch, the sword of the wicked is covered in blood. Welcome to the city of the nonsense. Pleasure is the peace we can find in. Dive in, ride a shotgun alongside the divide in. Taking the piece of the pie takes for what's provided. We won't be silenced, the path is wide and we found our God in. Blood, sweat, spit, and these bricks for Babylon. Made from the dust, these souls we trampled on. You have been caught in the flood. I have been caught in the blood. What you need right now? You have been caught in the flood. I think it's totally awesome what you can create with your smartphone of the Smooth 4. So definitely check it out and let me know what you think about it in the comments below and see you next time. Ciao!